Dami Mami Vizix used to be a champion who was considered absolute trash, but now after the rework, a lot of people consider her to be a great champion, especially given the fact that she's free at 270 days of playing. Her A1 attacks twice with turn meter decreases on each hit, and she fills her own turn meter instead. A2 is an AoE that places decreased speed. She also places ally protection to help your entire team stay alive, and there's a lot of places within the raid landscape that benefits from that type of protection. AoE places provoke. That provides great control, so your enemy can't do anything other than use their A1 on Vizix. And then she has increased to ally defense by 37%. That's a huge number, by the way, in faction crypts, though. So here we can do two things. We can place the provoke so that they can't take a turn, basically, or we can place the ally protect. And we also place the decreased speed. Note that she actually hits pretty hard. I've seen some people use her in arena as a nuker, and it's quite surprising. Her A3 has got a 4.1 multiplier, A2 3.5 multiplier, A1 is a 1.6. Here we'll see her place the provoke so that the opposite team can't do anything. And now we can start dwindling down one by one. And here we can place ally protect. You could definitely put her in your arena team. Let's take her into Hydra. Thank you for 379 subs. Aniri is here. She's probably going to be the harder ones to get, as well as Inquisitor Shemael, because they are void epics. If you don't have the legendary champions, the legendary healers, revivers, you have other options instead of Aniri. Doom Priest is a great healer. Rector Draft. Melga is also a great option for heals as well as a reviver. Apothecary is also another decent option in terms of a healer. When she puts up the ally protect, she's also going to be placing the decrease speed. And there it is. You saw she put up the ally protect and she placed the decrease speed, which is pretty helpful in Hydra so that you can keep pumping out more attacks, more damage onto the opposite team, try to get ahead of them. The head of decay is not here right now, but if it were here, then Vizix would have been provoking it, keeping it under control. I also wanted to point out, in case you don't know, whenever you have headless heads, you're going to be wanting to focus on them because those heads will receive a lot of damage. I used to think that, oh, these heads are down, I don't have to worry about them, let me focus on getting down another head. I was hindering myself from doing a lot more damage, and once I understood that, which should have been obvious, but it wasn't immediately obvious to me, that's when I was able to start pumping out a lot more damage. Alright, let me show you guys. Vizix, whoa, wait a minute, hold on. Vizix did most of the damage? Over Royal Guard? Here are her stats. You want survivability stats, HP, defense. You do want her to go fast, so she's taking as many turns as she can. So she is crit capped, and I did put crit damage on her because I am aware, due to her multipliers, that she does hit pretty hard, and from experience I've seen it. She is at 300 resistance and 300 accuracy, which is okay for normal Hydra. If you're entering the higher echelons of Hydra, you're going to want to bump those numbers up to around 4 450. I have no books on her and I'll tell you why in a minute. As always, don't blindly copy masteries, but go ahead blindly copy these masteries. For where I'm at in the end game, I don't really need her for anything. That's why I'm gonna plus one my Lydia. And if you want to see a video on Lydia, go ahead and check this one out.